This one third does. suspect charged in connection with the murder of a man in the homeless encampment near downtown Phoenix, known as the Zone. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> I'm not gonna say they're related to me, but the little, the one in the middle does kind of look like a cousin. I'll, I'll be honest. Sure, salute the palm on Henderson. Um, Hockey Kong says on May. 28th, 2016, the 17-year-old son of African immigrants was murdered by the government for trying to help a lost child. But Robbie, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> come on, don't mess with Harambe. That's sad. That was a sad moment. Yeah, man. Um, they love Harambe over here, man. Um, God damn, yo. These look. This looks like Chicago, man. They just yeah, like I this. said, a lot of people. Uh, I would say there's more people, more transplants there than like natives, just because it's like, oh, after the snow, I'm going to a place where it doesn't snow. And um, there's a lot of people like me, like Chicago people. They like that shit. They like the murder, the death, the gang violence, the um, the debauchery, the degeneracy. They enjoy that. So I, I was a, gonna say the sports yeah. teams for Chicago, um, because there's more like um Bears and Cubs fans than uh Cardinals and um Diamondback fans. The only the only sport that's really popular down there as far as local team goes is the uh, the Suns. And everybody hates um DeAndre Ayton right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. These guys, man. I I'm, I'm sure this is not what Phoenix looks like. Um, no, no, not at all. Years ago. Especially yeah. in, in in the middle of Phoenix, it's mostly like gay rich men. So this, I don't this know what is, they would. This is making me think that their other crime could be sons because these sons are killing homeless people. And that other crime, the three where the guy killed the three people and wounded the one, that was clearly somebody targeting homeless people. Well, yeah, because the guy like even said, you know, connection. they were all outside. Yeah, they, they were just. All yeah, homeless. So you just these fucking three able-bodied sons are just going around killing homeless people too. Well, none of those shit should have been going over there. Yeah. Um, Third suspect charged in connection with they the have murder a of a man in the homeless encampment near downtown Phoenix, known as the Zone. Twenty-three-year-old Dave Dinkins indicted on counts including first-degree murder, kidnapping, and arson. The other two young men who've been charged, Isaiah Baskin and Larry Scott. They are, uh, they've been charged in the case. In March, a man was severely beaten, shoved into a dumpster, and that dumpster was set on fire. The victims... You see how cruel some people are? You see how cruel we are? And this isn't how... even the area where sons mostly live. They mostly live in South Phoenix, which is a, a dump, or our Tuki if they have money. Listen to how cruel we are shoved into a dumpster and that dumpster was set on fire the victim still has not been identified and police released this sketch the victim has still not been identified they did they fucked over that guy so bad that he they can't identify him they just know some it was a human it was it was some life living thing that was in there jesus aye, aye, aye. we are Cruel, my G. Well, they're not surprising. Like I said, I have a family that's like mostly son, and like my niece went to a house party a few years ago and got her nose blown off. And when she got out the hospital, she was posting on Facebook like pictures of her and throwing up gang signs. So not only are we, uh, they're cruel, they're stupid and don't learn. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they don't learn. Yeah, the, the not learning part is. Is the problem for everybody. The cruelty part is the problem for everybody too. Like these some people are fucking cruel. Just when you well, can at least look look in their eyes, like that guy looks like a fucking like he it looks like we're looking into the past. We're looking into like uh, the human being, the species dark past. Like, this guy's not, like, a new copy. He's an old copy. He's a 
he's something he incarnated that something should have been <laughs> no, he's something that should have been breeded out or um absorbed into another group there's no way like this late in our existence on this planet that he should still be like so by himself like un untouched no one could breed this guy out no one could absorb this guy into their gene pool he just it's just a billion of them just running around the planet i will, I will also <laughs> say it does look like they're transplants because most suns don't have dreads in arizona because it's yeah. too hot like i don't think yeah. you guys realize how hot it gets down there yeah 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 i'm sure yeah i they are uh, they've been charged in the case in march a man was severely beaten shoved into a dumpster and that dumpster was set on fire the victim still has not been identified and police released this sketch hoping anyone with information about who this might be will come forward Yes, on Fox 10 News at noon, we have an update on a trooper shot yesterday in North Phoenix. Police have released the names of two suspects who have been arrested now in the case. 31-year-old Howard Johnson, arrested last night in Glendale after a brief standoff with police near 67th Avenue in Olive. And 27-year-old Sonia Hernandez, accused of helping him elude authorities. Police say Johnson shot a DPS trooper near 19th Avenue in the Loop 101. Witnesses tell us they say the trooper was chasing the suspect and at some point, they both ended up out of their cars and on the ground in a fight. The trooper is in the hospital, is expected to recover. Johnson was also taken to the hospital for injuries he suffered from that original incident. Yeah, I got a problem. <laughs> yeah, whenever, whenever, whenever you're here's a here's a hint. Whenever you are listening to a story from Arizona and they say Avenue, it's in a bad part of town, which is like half of Phoenix. Um, it's in what a bad say? part of town. <laughs> what do y'all think about um what do you guys think what do you think Johnny Reb you think um you, you, you think Phoenix can turn this around man <laughs> they go into it's gonna go into hibernation okay uh, they can only turn this around well they might have been able to turn it around if uh they hadn't uh, had some shenanigans on the uh, gubernatorial election recently. An arrest was made in the death of a security guard who was shot over the weekend. 50-year-old Nixon Pettit was killed early Saturday morning. He was working outside a hookah bar near 27th Avenue and Northern. Police arrested 26-year-old Justin DeMunga. Court documents say DeMunga tried to get past the security screening without being patted down for weapons. Pettit tried to D 